Hey everyone, Regal Reviews here. It is White Rice Wednesday, which means time for my Survivor recap. So to recap on tonight's episode, a lot happened in the short hour. Um, so right away, Orange, there's an idol hunt, an open idol hunt. I respect a good idol hunt. And my girl, Marianne, finds the idol. So congrats, Marianne, for finding the idol. And it's the wear idol, so she has to say this phrase. She can either take the idol or doesn't have to, but she has to say this phrase and it'll activate it. But then until then, she doesn't have a vote at tribal until all uh, um, idols are activated. So on the green tribe, Daniel is adamant about seeing Mike's um, idol paper. He wants to see the fine print and see could he potentially how he could potentially use this to get Mike voted out. And I'm thinking to myself, Mike, do not give him the paper. And what does he do? He gives him the paper anyway. And he reads the fine print and that he, Daniel thought that when the merge comes, the uh, idols would no longer be activated, but they, they're still in play. So he was potentially voting out um, somebody who has the only idol that they have. So... And then Daniel ends up losing the idol. Mike's like, where's the idol? I gave you everything. And Dan's like, no, you didn't. And turns out he dropped the idol. So can you freaking imagine that? I don't know how Survivor would have handled that. Like if Daniel like legit lost the idol. I mean, it would have been Mike's fault because he gave him the, the idol. But I wonder what production would have done in that situation if somebody else lost someone's idol. So the immunity challenge was very 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 intense like I've never seen a challenge like this before so they had to race in the water and they had to um get the they had to get this key and sandbags but they had to get this ladder out of the water the problem was there was like a current coming on so everyone's like trying to swim against the current and trying to complete this challenge and it was a blowout orange ended up winning but green and blue were like struggling so bad like they could have potentially someone could have drowned out there and for a first time in survivor history jeff stops the challenge and they said he needs to drag the ladder out of the water and he said they are going to get the keys and give it to them there. And then they're going to um, do the challenge from there. So they've never like said, okay, we're not going to do this part of the challenge. But I guess that he deemed that the challenge was too dangerous to co to complete it that way. So they just skipped that part and go went right to the throw in the balls. And it ended up being blue that came in second. So green went to tribal. But before they can go... Um, Orange has to send somebody to tribal council and they just, not tribal council, on a journey and they ch choose to send Chanel and then they have to send somebody else to go with her and they could have chose somebody on blue or they could have chose somebody on their own team and they chose to have Omar go. So when they get back to camp, on the green tribe Jenny's name's being thrown out there and it's tricky with this tribal because Mike can't vote and Daniel to me seems very sneaky seems like he's being a double agent because on one hand you see him wanting to work with Mike but then the other hand you see him wanting to work with Lydia and company so whose side is he really on so on the on the journey, it seemed like, you know, Chanel and Omar, it didn't seem like they got like a deep connection, but you know, they were able to talk, maybe build a relationship across tribe lines. The problem is you have to risk your vote or protect your vote. And they both chose to risk their vote. And as a consequence to that, they risked their vote at tribal. So now neither one of them could vote the next time their tribe goes to tribal. So then we get back to green and it's basically between Jenny or Lydia. And now we know, but Chanel doesn't know. Now Chanel doesn't have a vote at tribal. So now it's Mike and 
Chanel both don't have a vote, so it's coming down to four people that are going to be voting. So at Tribal Council, they talk about how strong they've been as a tribe in the short time that they've known each other. And Daniel mentions how he's not going to win the game because his paranoia is going to get the best of him. And I agree with that. I mean, when you are paranoid out there in the game of Survivor, that will kill your game. And we haven't seen one of these happen in a while, but it ended up being a tie between Jenny and Lydia. So what happens then in a tie is they go to Revo. The interesting thing here is Mike and Chanel don't have a vote. In the re-vote, Jenny and Lydia can't vote, so the vote's going to come down between Daniel and High. They go to re-vote, and it's a tie again between Jenny and Lydia. Now, survivor rules state that they have to come to a unanimous decision. While Mike and Chanel can't vote, they can, you know, be helpful and kind of, like, sway the decision a bit. And... They're talking and Daniel kind of throws uh, Chanel under the bus saying that, oh, she, he was voting for her, that he switched the vote because he thought he was voting for Chanel. And High was unwilling to switch his vote because he said he voted for Jenny. And they had to reveal under the circumstances who didn't vote. So now they knew Mike and Chanel didn't vote. So... The decision's coming down to Daniel because he has two options. He could either go with high and vote and have and change his vote and have Jenny sent home or the tribe could go to rocks. And the tribe made a mutual decision that neither nobody wants to go to rocks this early in the game. So they ultimately decided to Daniel ultimately decided to change his vote and have Jenny sent home and that's going to be brutal. I mean, technically there wasn't a rock draw, but that is a tough way to go out. I mean, I feel bad for her, you know, but I thought she was great. You know, I didn't have any issues of her. I'm sorry for the way she went out, but, you know, it's a game and we move on from it. I definitely think, you know, this is a great episode, great tribal, that challenge will definitely go down in history as one of the most intense challenges they've ever played. Um, next week shows that there's some fractures in the tribes. So yeah, always fun in the world of Survivor. So hope you guys enjoyed my recap tonight. If you guys want to check out Survivor, it is on Wednesdays, 8 p.m. on CBS. You can watch it live and you can also watch it live on the hulu or paramount plus app until next time stay regal